I've managed to get a green band, access all areas sort of thing. So I did a bit of queue jumping, so I'm in before the crowds. I just thought I'd show you what's going on here. Nice big ICOM stand here. As you know, I don't know much about ICOMs, but uh, it all looks very nice. This looks rather nice. Big uh, mother amplifier look, 1K. Excuse the wet Exactly. Lovely. I'll see if Martin sees me. <laughs> <laughs> now look at this. Can we do this? Uh, uh, there you uh, go, uh, Callum. <laughs> Very good day, sir. Beautiful product. Oh, well done. <laughs> Obviously, we've got the RSGB here. Oh, oh look, there's the, there's the governor. Steve, the governor. Yeah. <laughs> Hamcation. I've always wanted to see the size of these big wheels. So that's that's for six meters. Look, Mike. Good day, sir. Don't worry about that. No, you don't I'll wash it. Okay. All right. Whatever then. That's David. <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, well, here's our friends at BHI. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks, yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah. So our friends at Yesu. Let's have a quick peek. I'm not really a gadget man, a radio man. Well, you know, once I've got a radio, I just keep it. 101 MP. You know what, I've got to say, that just, that 2980, just a two metre, 80 watt rig. That's lovely for the car, isn't it? <laughs> what have I done? It's good to see you, Callum. Thanks for coming. My filming keeps stopping because um, people want to talk to me, you know, and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, I didn't realise RSGB, I got this stand as well, and all their books. Do you know, I can hear Jonathan somewhere. Oh, uh, there he is. So Jonathan and I, we met on two metres, roughly about Leicester, about an hour away. I slowed down, he called me up. So we could just chat, you know. We'll go and annoy Dan Lynch. Dan, I'm just here to annoy you, mate. Good morning. Go annoy away, that's fine. Morning. There's Gary. There's the governor, who I keep bumping into. There's Richard. All the people. Young David. You all right, David? Hello. How you doing, sir? Very well, sir. I'm just labelling up your stuff. Oh, my goodness. So you are. Yeah, front and centre. Yeah, look at this. Hi. Well, who is this company? I've never I heard of them. No, but they're very good, you know. Sorry, is that you, Jonathan? It's not Jonathan. It's Mike Cow. Oh, hello, Mike. I'm at the Martin Lynch stand. Surprise, surprise. Um, did you get in for free or in the queue? I've paid for it, so I'm just walking up, but I've got no bloody coat. I forgot to bring it. You won't need a coat inside, don't worry. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you, I'm glad I'm getting all this filming done now, because once Tom and Mike and the crew turn up, they'll just be... 24-7 jokes. I know it's a bad word, but where's Moonraker? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good friends from CDXC are here as well. One of those foundations that you should always subscribe to and send your money. Ah, oh, I've found them. In the old days, I'm sure Moonraker used to be a different colour. I can't remember. It was when Charles and Elaine ran it, it used to be much better. Oh, I'm doing fine, mate, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at you, you son. That always speak fondly of you. You used to chat him a lot in the old days, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we used a to do lot. all sorts of deals. Yeah. Remember, Any business, remember. business doing well? Yes, yes. Uh, I know it's not what people want to see sometimes, but uh, we're giving stuff back, giving stuff away, and we're doing the raffle. Um, now, because, yeah. because I was brave enough to send them a message and ask for a green band, which is the orange one. access all areas. <laughs> Mike just bought his ticket. He can't get in. No, exactly. So I've had to come out to see him. But welcome to Newark, Mike. Thank you very much, Callum. <laughs> Mike's just asked what happened to James. What happened to James? Where's James? That, well, <laughs> has he got one of those red and yellow, no, red and white tops? We could find, find Wally. <laughs> and we're here at the Flaps Up Brigade uh, to get a couple of coffees, I think. Can somebody hold that camera? Just for the four of us. Right. So it's in full swing now. All the happy people are in. People great crashing the video. James is here and he's got his stilts on. Let's see if we got Jonathan as well. If you know who this is, put it in the comments. 
Jonathan, if I go now, can you just send me some footage, please? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, can I have yours as well? Only, only if you can do a trade. <laughs> yeah, OK. Yeah. James, where's your bloody camera, man? It's in my pocket, actually. Uh, OK. No offence to you, Cal. I've always wanted to be on one of Jonathan's videos. Oh, thanks. I mean, there's only one problem with this radio. It's not a Kenwood. It's beautifully laid, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite I mean, it's, um, it's very nice, but I'm just not sure I could justify the cost. OK, so what we're discussing with the man from ICOM is that he'd do a nail kit so that you can nail that to this. Mm. And that would be much better. And then if you're buying radios by the weight, like I do, then it works. Where are the nail holes? Are they behind the logo? Just done an interview with this man here at G-O G5 doc.net. Where is that interview anyway? Is it on YouTube? Uh, it'll be on, on the newsletter on G5DOC.net. G5DOC.net. But in the meantime, these boys told me that there is a 480 outside. Or is it an 840? <laughs> yeah, or an 840. <laughs> and um, because we're trying to suck up the mark here on yeah. the 480s, yeah. we're going to have a look at it. We want to open a yeah. Kenwood shop. We want to open a second hand, a 480 sat shop. A 480 Kenwood shop. <laughs> <laughs> right, off we go. Every single 480 in the country. That's right. Is it, we got it. Could you, we could get, you could buy custom racks so you can get seven or eight. <laughs> That's a good idea. We could have them all on different frequencies. Yeah, indeed. And, yeah. See, and see if we could cascade them as we go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you a funny story. Do you know the old expression CQ40, CQ40, or yeah. CQ20? Yes. It's because in, some, in the old days, a lot of people would have a 40-metre radio and a 20-metre radio, and they wouldn't know which microphone to pick up so you'd hear CQ40 and they'd pick up the 40 metres and go, oh, I can hear you. Now, whether that's right, true or indifferent, I don't care. It was a good story. We need to rescue Jonathan. No worries at all. Good luck with today. Cheers. He's, he's my carer. <laughs> it's not big God, enough they've come as a threesome. It's not, is it? Yeah. yeah it's not it's a playlist word. of YouTubers. Jesus. <laughs> Toad, a really, really nice defender Game that you did a video defender. on. He's left his glasses, we put it on the bonnet. Oh, is Tom here? Tom's here then, is he? Tom's here? Yes. Yes, parked behind us. All right, well, I'll get in touch with him. Yeah, he's dropped All his right. glasses, glasses he's got out. And we've put them on the so bonnet. Put on the bonnet. You put them on the bonnet. Yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. What's your name? Craig. Two Echo Zero, Charlie Sierra Delta. Tom, are you about? <laughs> oh, some heat sinky things. Y R M Y F zero M F F. What is QRP anyway? Under a thousand. Um, Jeremy, I think it's about that. Okay. Somewhere in that All right. Ah, oh, it's a, uh, it's a Mark three. I'm sorry for one eighty. One eighty. I wish people wouldn't do things like this to me. One eighty. Get to Newark next year. There's some fantastic deals, honestly. Tom, are you down this way? This looks like a some sort of suspension part for a go kart. It's <laughs> a wishbone for a lamb. That's good. There's two of them. Wave guide. Is that an upgraded to uh, upgraded RG58? Yeah. I've got an idea, Mike. <laughs> is that we use this between the shack and the field, and we pump beer through it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I think this is fancy. Isn't there a kind of a market for... Is there people really into this? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Look at... Oh, wow. Look at that. That, that little knob. Nice. Oh, I like the gearing on it. How much yeah. is the 450, sir? 400, sir. 400? Yes. That's a good deal. It is a good deal. Getting you it, guys. So this kind of outside is just sort of wall-to-wall -wall stalls, if you know what I mean. Now, obviously, if it's pissing down with rain, it would be a little bit difficult to stand around outside here. Oh, look at the antenna over there. I don't think that's amateur. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's that's kind of a well-known piece of kit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The problem with these is they don't do up side pans unless you mod them. Ah. More green stuff. Oh, more green things. More green the, in the back yeah, of his green, green push-along Land Rover. Yes. Uncle Tom. Where's Tom? Is that you, Tom? He made it. Did you find your glasses? They're on the boot bonnet of your car. <laughs> We're just having a walk around, uh, Big Tom. Well, there is another Kenwood, though. Kenwood? There's another Kenwood. A genuine Kenwood. Wow. There's a TSA 20 here as well. Oh, so there is. 
How much is the 820, sir? It's uh, 50 pounds for that. Good, isn't it? Oh, I haven't got another, space for oh, it anyway. There's another camera. Oh, it's, oh, it's receiver. Look at these little cute trios here. Because it's about a piss down the rain, we've decided to go in. Oh, but Jonathan is still talking to his camera. Look. Are you done? Yes. All Let's right. go in. The, again. This is the section of the video. It's called Mike Reacts. Okay, come with me, Mike. You didn't know this. Mike is ex Royal Navy. Uh, sorry, pilot. Sorry, pilot. Ex Royal Air Force. Ex Royal, Royal Air Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buccaneers. Yeah, no, on the, they're on my bucking head. <laughs> okay, now, have you heard of Raynet? Yes. Okay. He's a nice bloke, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Ray, Ray, Ray. Come, I want you to. Yeah. his sister, Hairnet. Yeah. Hairnet. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Hello, Ray. <laughs> In the, on this stand, you can buy uh, high. <laughs> so these are magnetic. Yeah. Here's Ray. That's my brother. Yeah, okay, your brother. Okay, this is Brian. Brian, hello, Brian. Got any Kenwoods? Uh, we do. Yeah. We do. We do. How many would you like? Uh, how many Kenwoods would you like, Mike? Five. So John, John didn't want to, John wants to walk around without the camera, which I thought we'd do that. I've Sorry. Unfortunately, we do need a camera to prove that I haven't got a camera. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't got a camera. I haven't got a camera. Oh, hello, sir. Man from Icon. You've heard about the man from Uncle? That's the different fella. <laughs> That's the little thing that goes up and down. I was just looking at this, Tom. What is it? Oh, that's the 710. Now, you've got a mild complaint about this. You can hear the digital artifacts. Yes. And can you hear it on this one as well? Unfortunately so. I think it's when you've had a Kenwood, you don't want to go back. If you turn the sound processing off or not, I find, personally, I can still hear it's that slightly digitally. Slightly digitised still. Just right. ever so slightly. All right. It's enough to give me a earache. Right. <laughs> like you, we're allowed a break as well. Good boy. So if we were going to get you a high vis jacket, oh yes, that, you'll have to be for Christmas. Blue bits on it. Uh, what what would you like on the back? Radio operator. <laughs> <laughs> John, the same question to you. Yeah. I'm buying you a Christmas present and it's going to be a high vis jacket. What are you going to have on the back of it? My mates are radio operating. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'd like it to say my other jacket's normal. <laughs> <laughs> my other mates an operator. Yeah. My, my other mates an operator too. <laughs> We should, we should get a few done. I want a hairnet. <laughs> Have you had enough of your reactions? Had enough reacting, <laughs> right? Okay, well, very good day. I've been so, Say bye bye, little friends. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.